making some decisions on how much weight to take out of this ash tree. And this is quite interesting. We've got a, a very tight inclusion. And if you look up here, there's an old cut that was taken off a long, long time ago. So this whole section of the tree has actually grown right up next to this. So this portion of the tree is uh, quite volatile and, and could split off of here. There's a, there's a very obvious uh, included bark here that goes deep into the tree. So because of that, uh, and the, because of the proximity to the parking area, we're going to take a lot of weight off on this side over here. I, I can't afford to take this whole thing off because that leaves just half a tree. But if we don't get enough off of this side over here, um, the potential for a failure is, is significant. If you look at it from way back here, you can see what I mean. The right side there, uh, that, that uh, is quite a bit of the balance of the tree. And, you know, sometimes the decisions that we have to make on a tree are, are very difficult. If you look at this Modesto ash from this perspective, it looks great. It looks really balanced. And if it was a balanced tree, then the work that we're doing would be just fine. And we're not going to do a whole lot more, but let's go look at it from the other side and you'll see what I'm talking about. As you can see, it's just half of a tree. There were actually three Modesto ash over here. The one in the middle has died, and the one over on the left is no longer there, but it died a while ago. So because of the, the poor placement of three trees a long time ago, this tree on the right here has become very, very much one-sided. Now a lot of people will say, well, let's do a little bit more cutting on this side so it kind of balances out. And that's not the right decision either. You have to, you have to almost imagine that the rest of the tree is there. And hopefully some of the growth on this side, now that it gets more light, will start filling in. But you don't want to over prune this side to compensate for the mistake on the other side of the tree. So uh, it is what it is. You've got to do the best you can. And every tree is very unique. And every situation is different. And from this perspective, you can see that it's very much a one-sided tree. We took an awful lot of weight off over here because of this weakness down low. And we took all the branches that were hanging, the branches were hanging all the way down onto the building on the backside. And fortunately, the most prominent viewpoint for this tree is coming up the driveway over here. And this is what people are gonna see first. So from over here, it's pretty good.